On the screen you can see we have the three counties that we've merged together that we created the new field in the attribute table. We also have the three counties individually but we're not really worrying about those since we have the merged version. I'm going to right click on the name and I'm going to come down here to edit features and I'm going to say start the editor. So now we're ready to edit this population. I'm going to come and open the attribute table and you can see here's our population field and we're just going to put random numbers in here 21, 12, 15, 32, 400, 600, 2000, 31, 25, 31, 31, 41, 10, 15, 13, 13, 22, 22, 89, and again I'm just doing random numbers about the same size of numbers on each one. And we got a couple more to put in here. Just using my keyboard to put these in. Okay, so we've got them all put in there. So we're going to close the attribute table here. So we're just going to hit the X and close the attribute table. We are going to come over to Edit Feature. Well, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to come in here and go to Customize, Toolbars. We'll see the editor toolbar is turned on, and we need to locate the editor toolbar. There it is. We're coming here, editor. Say stop edits. Since we didn't say do we want to save the edits or not, we have to come in and um, answer the question. We yes, we do want to save the edits, and we want to show that that column is now like any other column we have. So we're just going to double click on the name, go to symbology and to quantities. And we're going to choose our population field. We're going to use this default ramp color here. And we're going to say OK. And we can see population data. It makes no sense, the population data, since we just randomly put numbers in and we accepted the five breakpoints that there was there on the ramp color. So this is how you can add numerical values into your map.